Hey, hey, everybody. The average or arithmetic mean of 6x, 2x, and y is equal to 4x. So now we want to quantitatively compare a and b, whether you know one is greater than the other, they're equal, or you just can't determine the relationship with the information given. The answer to this question will be C. The quantities are equal. And this is a pretty interesting problem because as long as you build up your conceptual understanding of what arithmetic mean or average is, then this problem isn't terrible. And even if you don't have that total understanding, you can still get it right within a minute. So here's what I mean. If we're looking at the average, so this is for my advanced people. So stick around everybody, but for my advanced people, if we're looking at the average of 6x, 2x, and y, and it ends up being 4x, well, think about it like this. What's the average between 6x and 2x? I hope that we can agree that the average between here would be 4x. And so, if we throw y into the mix, well, if the average stays 4x after throwing y into the mix, that means that y has to be the average. So here's a little tip. Whenever you add a number to a data set and the average doesn't change, that means that the number you added is the average. And so for my advanced people, that's why they're equal. But let me go ahead and show everybody else that way we can all come up together here because that's what this is all about. So let's go ahead and take this literally. The arithmetic mean of these three numbers is 4x. Remember, to get the average or arithmetic mean, we will add everything together. So 6x plus 2x plus y. We divide by the number of numbers. So there's three numbers here. And that results in the average or 4x that they give us. So what I want to do is I want to see what y is in terms of x. So with that said, what I'll do is I'll begin by multiplying both sides by 3 because that'll allow me to rid the 3 denominator on the left side. Goodbye. Leaving us with 6x plus 2x plus y equals 4x multiplied by 3, giving us 12x. Next, we can combine like terms here, 6x and 2x. That will give us 8x. So by subtracting 8x from both sides, I believe that we can see that y equals 4x. And look at that. That is pretty good there. That's pretty cool. You know, we can determine this by conceptual understanding and by actual algebraic solutions. So hopefully one of those two ways or both really help tie this all together. But remember, the key here is that, hey, look, if the average of some numbers is, you know, whatever, but then you add a number into that data set and the average stays the same, remember, that new number that you added will have to be the average if the average doesn't change. So with that said, boom, C is the answer. We are all good.